What's up, everybody? Well, today I am here to bring you another vacuum that just recently joined my collection. And as you may have guessed it, it's another Hoover Elite. Some people may already know, the returning subscribers at least, but for those of you who may be new to the channel, one of my favorite vacuum cleaners of all time and what sparked my interest in vacuums is anything on the Hoover Elite platform. Whether it be like the soft bag, the hard bags, the uh, legacies or the dimensions, or even the runabouts like these. I love any version of the Elite. I mean, they were everywhere when I was little. My Some of my family members had some versions of an Elite, and I grew up with one. And these are just quite nostalgic vacuums to anyone who grew up in the 90s. And I always try to snatch one up whenever a good-looking one comes across my path. This one it has quite an interesting story for how I got it. Here I present to you a Hoover Runabout Deluxe, one of the higher-end versions of the Runabout series sold exclusively at Kmart. Back then, to many people who may not know where the runabouts originated, these were Kmart exclusive. They were meant to be basically the budget version of a traditional Elite, which means it came with, besides the runabout name, it also came like with a lower end style wraparound hose as I like to call it, instead of the traditional side mount attachments like normal high-end elites would come with. And I got this vacuum actually from another YouTuber here, from YouTube user Vacuums and Carpet Cleaner Guy, or Marco as you may have known him. I bought this vacuum from him, and he has made a few videos on this vacuum on his channel, but some of you may know that that thing didn't run very good. It didn't really sound very healthy either. So I bought this and he was nice enough to reserve it so I can buy it. So I bought it with the intention that I was going to be rebuilding the motor. So many people probably know by now I have rebuilt a couple of Elite motors. The one I recently did was my Hoover Dimension Supreme, which I will link a video to that vacuum in the description box. And I've rebuilt a couple of other Elite motors here and there, but I pretty much am one of the few collectors that has a general grasp on how to rebuild and tear apart a Hoover Elite motor. So this was not new to me at the time. So I took it and I I rebuilt the motor. I literally made an entire video on what I do when I get these elites and how I restore and clean them up. So I will link the video to that va to that video in the description box to show you what I did to restore this. But now here's its full review and walk around video. So let's go ahead and get to it since I'm done yammering about my history with it. This being one of the lower end models, it does come with the wraparound hose that connects over the, here and then go, loops around the top and connects on the other side. And the Runabout Deluxe was basically one of the versions of the runabout that came with a hard bag cover. There were actually two variants of the runabout deluxe. For those of you who may follow, there was a later version of the runabout deluxe that had a 12 amp motor and also had a tan handle cover. There were two colors you can get for that model. There was this traditional black or there was a green version. I do think both of them had the tan handle and the 12 amp motor. This is one of the early versions that has the older 7.2 amp motor as you can see right there on the hood and this one is essentially a hard bag version of the runabout supreme 
And originally, I wanted to run about Supreme since it was another childhood vacuum of mine. And my grandparents had one alongside their blue hard bag Encore Supreme. But this was a nice cleaner to have. And it was a fun rebuild project. So anyway, here is the label for your filtration. Drips 100% of dust mites and their eggs. 99.98% and ragweed pollens, 99.98% of grass pollens. It is basically the allergen filtration. I do like how they kind of color contrasted it to the logo on the on the top. And we'll get and open this guy up to show you the bag. So traditional Hoover type A bag that this thing takes. This is a genuine cloth synth synthetic HEPA bag. It filters out much better than the genuine paper bags you can get. Yeah, they are all pretty good, but if you can find type A bags in HEPA configuration, I would more than recommend buying them for this. You can run Y bags, but to be honest, the Y bags are not as large as the A's, so if you can find some HEPA A bags, buy them. You will thank yourself in the end as far as the filtration goes. And right down here, you have your stair cleaning handle. And down here, you have your four position carpet height adjustment. I always like to leave it on the middle setting for the pile of this carpet. And it uses only 7.2 amps. So this vacuum does draw a little bit less power and it's not as energy consuming as the later 12 amp versions or any vacuum that uses a 12 amp motor at that. And it's rated at the cleaning effectiveness per amp at 17. I do not know what kind of metric that is, but my only correlation is, is that that was Hoover's marketing technique just to make the higher end models look prettier on the shelf and to give them a higher price tag. And there's the runabout by Hoover. Nice, interesting little squiggle on, on for the runabout logo. It has brushed edge cleaning on both sides. Right up here is your little attachment door that you can lift up to attach the end of your hose in to use tools. And speaking of tools, we'll go ahead and show you the, those right now. This is one of the more deluxe style tool caddies for those that come with the wraparound hose, I say that because this one houses two extension wands. Not just one, but you also have another that, that can be stored right there. This is very nice. I love that some cleaners with the wraparound hose actually did this. So you can get a higher reach with your extension wand. But of course you do have your crevice tool, your upholstery tool, and your dusting brush. And now I will go ahead and tip the cleaner back to show you the underside. So here is the brush roll that is in this. It is a very oddball design. And I would like to point out this is a new old stock genuine replacement single row brush roll. But what really baffles me about this is the bottom plate design as well as the brush roll design. I'm thinking Hoover may have gotten cheap in production and their original intent was to make this a single row to kind of indicate that this is like a lower end machine. But since they got cheap in production, they they were making the brush rolls that have these cutouts so that they fit the ones with the three bar plastic base plate instead of this four wire metal bottom plate. Do, not, no, I do not know what Hoover's idea was when they designed this with this style of brush roll, but just me being the purist I am, I bought the proper brush roll that this would have came with and it seems to groom pretty good it cleans nice and it leaves very good lines a little bit better lines 
than the ones with the plastic three bar base plate. So yeah, and you have one section here that somewhat acts as a beater bar. I say that because this bottom plate design, it kind of prevents it from acting as a beater bar. Maybe the three bar plastic sill plate might, you might have better luck of it acting as a beater bar. But the bristles are very nice and stiff and they are very, very long. If you can kind of see just how far they extend out beyond the base plate. So that's just very nice. It's good performing even for a single row. So now let's go ahead and take this cleaner up on, on its back to show you the model number. This is Hoover Cleaner model U5064-930, 120 volts, 60 hertz. It's a 7.2 amp motor. There's your bag type A and your belt type, bottle 38528-027. Hoover has changed this, so it's 38528-040. And to serial date these Hoovers, is the first two digits decode the month of manufacture, and the second, uh, excuse me, the uh, third and fourth digit will decode the year. So this vacuum was made in 02 of 00, so that means this vacuum was manufactured in February of 2000, which I'm amazed by that because this is just to show you how new this cleaner really is, if it was made in the 2000s. This design looks very 90s, but this is about a year before Hoover started putting the 12 amp motor into these elite platform vacuums, because I think they started doing that in 01. So this is one of the older ones with the 7.2 amp for household use only, made in the USA. That is the thing I love about these old Hoovers is that they're US made cleaners. You won't see that many cheap vacuums in today's day and age that are made in the USA. Mexico, if you're lucky. But anyway, enough of that. Let's go ahead and release the power cord. And unfortunately, the cord is not the longest because this is a low budget cleaner. It's not gonna have the longest of cord. It's only like about 24 feet in length. But let's go and plug it in. And your power switch is down on the side of the cleaner, typical elite fare. This is actually a plastic rod that runs down into where the main rocker switch is in the valley of the motor. And for now, let's go ahead and turn this thing on and we'll demo it for you guys so you can hear it and all its screaming, overly loud Hoover glory. <laughs>
sounds very nice and smooth. Sounds great ever since I did that motor rebuild on it. And before I end the video, I will go ahead and demonstrate this cleaner to you in tool mode. So simply to do that, you just remove the hose from the rack right there. Detach the end. Put this section down into the cleaner once you lift the attachment door up. And then the hose will just pop in like that. Don't expect miracle suction out of this. The suction is really not the highest. But it's actually pretty good, even for a direct air. And one interesting thing, some people reported the plastic hoses tend to have a little bit better tool suction than the ones, the high-end models with the flex hose. I personally think the ones with the wraparound hose have the best suction of all of them, even the side mount plastic hose. I say that because look at how wide the hose is. The, the side mount plastic hoses are a little bit skinny, so nat naturally they're probably not going to have as much suction as the as this plastic wraparound hose will. Let me attach the two extension wands. This is just how high of a reach you can get with the with the two wands. Crevice tool. Just reattach the hose right there, and you just wrap it around the front. I find it better to do it around the front so that way it doesn't flop at the back. So, with that, let's go ahead and connect this back in, and there you go. Well, everybody, I hope you've enjoyed this video on the Hoover Runabout Deluxe. Be sure and stay tuned and don't forget to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.